queue. And uh, yes, she's finally made it 22, actually 25 minutes late. Welcome, my sister Yvonne Dark. <laughs> How are you? <laughs> yes, Karibu Sana, Karibu Sana. What's popping? I'm good. How have you been? Yes, first of all, I need to apologize because you know what? I was supposed to have hosted you earlier this week. Mm -hmm. And then uh, your team did not call me. There was a uh, miscommunication. Yeah. I'm but so you're finally good. here. I'm finally here. How are here. the babies? They're fantastic. They're big. You know, you're oh like a God. super woman, yo. <laughs> <laughs> Look, many, many, many dudes just see you and they say like, yeah, this tall, amazing, lovely, model looking lady. They don't know where, must say, <laughs> for now, my boys. I've got my little mini bounces. Yes, and uh, yeah, they can, uh, they can, uh, they hold it down for the man anytime. Yes. Yes. How old are they now? Ten and six. Ten and six. Yep. But I'm still like uh, in the lead. Because, you know, my <laughs> yeah, daughter is 13. Yeah, yeah she, she's and, older. Uh, okay, we're going to have four, but uh, yeah. We're there. We're there. Yes. Yeah. So how is uh, motherhood and also, you know, like uh, just juggling it with all all this beauty oh, and uh, the music? How's it going? Motherhood is fantastic. Uh -huh. Music is fantastic. Uh -huh. Work is amazing. Okay. Yeah. Dope. Everything is going well. I mean, it's just persistent is key. Uh-huh. Okay, are you in a relationship yet? Am I you're still like uh, T T M I <laughs> Because you know what you're looking so amazing, you're looking so dope, so I'm like Thank hey, you. how's it going now? Uh, when it comes to my personal life I keep it private. Private. <laughs> because you know what, the kids are growing anyway. Yeah, they are. And you know, are. anything you say here will be held against you forever and ever. Oh, for life. Ah, I mean okay. radio, Google, YouTube, everything is held down for life these days. But you need to understand one thing. Later on on the show we're gonna do celebrity quick fire and I'm not gonna like hold anything back. It's all right. It's so, all we're right. Move, when, when we get there, we're going to like, you know, just uh, talk about that when we do that. <laughs> so, so tell me, where have you been? I've been around. Actually, I just came back from Congo, Kinshasa. Okay, okay hold on. Have you come with diamonds? Uh, no. Not platinum? No, no, like no. Of course not ones. platinum. Uh, Excuse gold. me. <laughs> <laughs> but he's never, hit up, he's, he's never hit you up? No. Are you sure? Nope. Hey, because uh, looking at all uh, the, 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 his type of women. Anyway. Uh -huh. So what was <laughs> happening in Congo? <laughs> I actually went for a media tour. Okay. And also, I had just released the, the new video on the 30th. Yes. Then I went there. Mm -hmm. I just got back last week. Uh -huh. And I also went for my clothing line. Wow. Yes. So you have a clothing line? Yes. Tell called us about uh, that. Dark Collection. Uh -huh. I just launched in the beginning of the year. Is this like for only females? No, or no, no. Like it's, for, it's for women and men as, uh, as well. But okay. I haven't got into that. I'm actually doing it's the next project within the next two, three months. Okay. So um, what happened is I, I got invited to go there. Okay. Um, and then everything just blew out of proportion in an amazing way. Okay. Like I didn't expect them to be so overwhelmingly loving and welcoming. And supporting. Very supportive. Uh -huh. And what's interesting is it's one of my bloodlines. Okay. So it was the first time I've gone there. You know, we've always had this conversation. Yes. I, 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 technically, if someone asks me what, you know, what's your like, um, where background. do you come from? What's your background? I would not be able to tell because, <laughs> yo. Too many. I think they're like four. <laughs> they're eight. Eight? Yes. Wow. So there's? My mother is South Sudanese, uh -huh. Congolese, okay. Kenyan, Jaluo, uh -huh. Burundian, Rwandese. Uh -huh. Those are five. Yes. Those then are six. Those are five. Okay. Then French, Dutch, and Belgian Wow. is my dad. <laughs> my mom is a beautiful black melanin and yes. my dad is white. So She's a, She has the combination of all the all, East African all of countries. This. Yeah. And I always tell people, She's guess what? She's a true what? Bantu. She is a true Bantu. And I always tell people... You'd always be shocked. You'd think pointies are the ones that are mixed, but yes. you'd find melanins are more mixed than, the than we are. So go check out your bloodline and know where you're from. And that's what took me to Congo. When I got there, uh -huh. um, I, I started figuring out other sides of me that I was, I had a question mark for a long time okay. when it came to my crazy dance moves yes. and just some fiery sides of mine and food and stuff. Yes. I mean, I'm obsessed with pondu, which is, um, porn. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's cassava leaves. Oh, right. You can't just throw things like that. Pondu. It's I'm called like, pondu. <laughs> it's like and a it's like a traditional meal. Yes, it okay. is, and it's <laughs> just it's delicious. I mean, I think they have it here as well in Kenya, but it's okay. mainly a Congolese and South Sudanese Type kind of, of a dish. A dish, right? And it's super delicious. If you get a chance, go and taste it. But yeah, so I went there for the clothing line, mm -hmm. and um, the clothing line is a high end African couture okay. fashion line that mm -hmm. I decided to launch, and mm -hmm. the first collection was called is called La Dame Dark. Okay. Which means the lady dark. Now, why that? Because my, my clothing line is based on what I wear okay. as a woman. Nice. And I want every woman to feel the confidence. Mm -hmm. um, 
the versatility of the African wax, Mm -hmm. the beauty of it, and also the self-beauty and confidence one woman deserves to have for herself. So when you strut it, you feel the way I feel in it. So what happens is the cuts are the same. Why is it a limited edition? The cuts are the same, but you'll never find the same African material. Okay. So it depends. I mean, depends. What's going on with my tongue this morning? (laughs) But it depends with the African wax. There's some that are soft, some are harder, Mm -hmm. and the patterns are always different. So So it's not your typical, uh, you know, uh, dashiki. No. And then yes. the other thing is, the reason why I chose African couture, because we're so used to Dira, like, kind of Outfit, outfits, yes. because yeah. it's hard. Yeah. So what happens is, I get my tailor, to either come to you or you go to them, they tailor you, you get the first, you obviously go for the first fitting, mm-hmm. and then you go back and collect your outfit, or it gets delivered to you, because wax has to be well tailored onto your body wow. you can't just it's not like any stretch material okay right so the beauty of it is i'm trying to change the whole aspect and dy- dynamic people have with constantly just buying stuff from abroad wow we need to self-invest within ourselves as africans and stop always just throwing our money out there and that's the whole point of the brand yvonne dark as an artist it's re reliving and embracing and rebirthing our African culture through food, um, clothes, fashion, fashion music, yes. everything, making Africans understand that everybody's trying to come and take what we have. Yes. So why are we not why waking up? Exactly. Why, why don't, don't we, we waking up right it? now and realizing it to, until what, what, 15, 20, 30 years from now, we'll be like, oh, why Why? Why should we go to that extent and start blaming people when we should just wake up and embrace what we have, including our animals? Nice. You know? That's Yvonne Dak. She's in the studio, and I told you she's fierce. And, uh, yo, we'll talk more about Congo. We'll talk about your new uh, track uh, that uh, you, you've come to drop with us yes. today. Uh, but I really need to know, uh, so how was Congo? What popped in Congo? And, uh, yo, uh, is Congo like Kenya? Because, you know, there's... Uh, People have this uh, perception about Congo that is a bit uh, twisted. Mm-hmm. Yes, yeah, so when we get back, we're going to talk about that. But right about now, though, and uh, because you're in studio and because you're fierce and because, you know what, you just say what you want to say and do what you want to <laughs> do. I'm playing one of my favorite tracks that uh, you ever dropped right here at Kiss 100 uh, when uh, we were with Adele. Yes. That's about, I think, earlier this year or late last year. Late. It was it's late last year. called Fearless. Yeah. Page. If you follow her on social media, you can see that she's been all over the world doing dope stuff. The thing is, she was in Congo. And how long were you in Congo for? I was in Congo for about almost two and a half weeks. Yes, and you're telling me Congo is like, uh, Kins- actually, Kinshasa is like uh, the the Mumbai of Africa. When it comes to traffic, traffic. yes. And oh a my lot God. of people in one place. What? I and thought it's th- they're three times the size of Nairobi. Like Kinshasa is three times the size of Nairobi. Yes. So you can only imagine the size of the, po- uh, the, the population. And they eat porn. It's a pondu. A pondu, pondu, pondu. <laughs> There's another thing called a pule mayo, pule mayo, which is chicken mayonnaise. Let me tell you, that thing is life. Wow. It is life. Anyway, chicken mayonnaise just sounds life. <laughs> uh, plus, I'm hungry, so I'll just accept anything you no, tell me. No, we're both me. hungry together. Yes. I haven't eaten my pussy So, uh, the thing is this. Mm-hmm. Let's talk about your music, because you've told me about your, your, yes. your, your fashion, yes. uh, your, your fashion line and everything. And if anyone wants to check it out, they can go to your Dark, IG. Yes, which is Dark Collection. Okay. It's D-A-R-C-Q-C-O-L-L-E-X-I-O-N. When you call it all that, mm-hmm. it's complicated. Dark Collection. <laughs> Will you, will you be making clothes for like uh, Rayas, normal people down here? Yeah, uh, of course. Know, of am course. I just for up, 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 no, up No, 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 no. It's for, it's for everybody. The price yes. is very affordable. Okay. Right? And What's I the just, cheapest thing that you sell? Um, which would be the, the one, I mean, you choose a top or a trouser. A top, yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. So that would probably be like, what, two uh, Gs or two less? Gs. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's, that's fair. Yeah. But you get something that will last you. No, of course. Dope. Wax lasts for a lifetime. The cut and the stitching is done perfect. And who are these tailors? Are they Kenyan? Yes, they are. Okay. The, the whole point of Yvonne Dark is to make sure that I'm invested within ourselves as Kenyans. Kenyans for Kenyans. Oh, because... Yeah. It's time that we we have our pride and we wear our pride and we show the world what we have. It's time that we no longer look at Versace and Louis Vuitton as them and look at Dark Collection or any other Kenyan brand. We should be on the same level. Yes. Yeah. I mean, that amazing designers like Olga. Uh, you know, there's so many designers out there okay. that we've had from back in the day. And that's that's the whole point. And I've, it's mixed with my image as Yvonne Dark because everything I do comes with the brand Yvonne Dark, the artist. Okay. So that's... speaking of that, when you're talking about Congo, Congo, I mean, was an eye opener for me. Okay. Because I realized. Yes. I thought Nigeria was all that. Yes. Ooh, 
they ain't, they ain't nothing compared to Congo. Like Congo's the amount of wealth. Yes, uh, definitely, Congo bro. Has. They have diamonds. They have everything. No, but that's the that's, only thing that their uh, entertainment industry like yeah, it's wow. big is heavy. I it's, know it's on a whole other level. Like I was at an event that was kind of like a marriage and a, a fashion show at the same time. Mm-hmm. The performer, like a wedding. No, it was it was weird. It was like a fashion show and wedding and. A wedding at the same combined. time combined yes. and yes. i was just like okay first of all that blew my mind yes because of the way they were open about it mm-hmm. and everyone was on the dance floor from beginning to end but the artists they were so into their own artists and the diversity i mean i even heard our music playing that i was like yo then when i went to the club as well like it was wild but at the event I'm telling you, I literally saw someone being put on their forehead, one of the artists, six million shillings. Those are hundred dollar bills just yeah, being just, placed yeah. on the forehead. That's, a lot of money that's in not the, their in money. Sasha. That's yes. not the money they were paid for. No, the that's game. just cash. That's that was like just glowing. F- show off. Yes. Like, thank you for coming. It's we called appre- lifestyle. Yes, but it was more of we appreciate you. Thank you for coming. It wasn't that one of floss mode I'm so and Trust me, it's not happening in Kenya anytime soon. <laughs> if that's what you're trying to suggest. No, 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 no. Yes. But what I was just saying is the the, the, the lifestyle that they have there, they have too much much money that they don't care how they spend it so for me that was mind-blowing it was a whole different ball game yes they embrace their care so that's what i say about uh, kinshasha no and they're really changing because right now i'm telling you after after they choose the new president yes i'm telling you kinshasa is literally going to be the dubai of africa the plans they have in the buildings i started seeing i mean you enter a building and your car goes to your your apartment so clearly you become now you become the <laughs> brand ambassador no of, no, no, uh, no 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 i am so Congo. kenyan but yes i i i just wanted to see the difference that was there and i'm like mm, kenya sour it's time it's time we also step well, up compare, our compare rosafi. Uh, rosafi. <laughs> anyway so, so uh, when we get back uh, we'll be uh, talking about your new music yes. and what plans you have yes. before we enter into celebrity it's about um, 13 minutes to the top of the hour yes even that came late and that is why we're not going to be with her for longer but uh, trust me, she's Ooh. back at a kuapa and at a kudia and a tena and a tena and a tena. Over and over. Yes. Yo, so let's talk about your music. Yes. Yeah. So Mambo Bad was my latest single. Okay. I released the video as On well. The 30th. Yes, I released the song and the video together. Okay. And that is thirtieth of last month. Yes. Mm-hmm. And um it has a twist to it. Okay. Knowing how I have my creativity and diversity, I like to play with everything I work yeah. with. Yes. So Mambo Bado, when you listen to the song, it sounds like a relationship. Okay. Um story that there's drama and i'm telling the guy you need to decide what you want yes but then in the video you actually see i've done something that's never been done in africa before Mm. where i've done a video where i've multiplied myself Mm -hmm. with different characters of myself in the video so there's three different characters tomboy fun crazy um let's just say lunatic kind of energy yes um fun person Uh, mischief yes Uh and then there is the diva the the attitude diva so it's more of i'm battling my my three different energies and facing them together at the end so you need to watch it till the end because it's interesting okay dope so who shot the video um vj1 and he did he did an amazing job okay because again like i said investing within ourselves you know my previous videos some i've done outside some i've done here Mm -hmm. but i realized a lot from from especially fearless Mm -hmm. when i did it out there and worked mambo bado was the smoothest best video i have ever shot okay in terms of um, professionalism and how things were going. Plus, I'm wearing my clothing line. Yeah. I did my own makeup. And also, I'm sure the cost. The yeah, cost exactly. Was and then because I've learned with all these years how to do my own makeup. Yeah. I did my own makeup. I had my nieces that I'm training to work. Okay. Um, besides me, which who you were dealing with. So that's how I was laughing when they didn't follow up. It's their first time. So I'm 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 slowly <laughs> tutoring them no, into it's all it. Good. You it's know. All good. It's all and good. and so yeah. So they no. Just next come time they call me, they should just call me and call. And yes, then that's, we'll, that, we'll that, be on that's the same I'm going to tell them that. Now they call me and they're just me like a slave. <laughs> I'm like, oh, no, they need to respect me. They respect their OG. Yeah. Anyway, so I'm about to play Mambo Bado yes. in one word. What, how could you describe it? Who produced Thank this? Thank you. Yulo Pangoma. I knew it. <laughs> yeah, Yulo Parasta. You know he changed his name. He's actually cut off his dreads. Can you believe That's that? That's why we call him Yulo Parasta. Because the Rasta is gone. <laughs> yeah. I was in the studio with him just uh, like two weeks ago. Yeah. Yeah, so something we're doing with Petra. Actually, mm-hmm. I went to listen to some uh, stuff Petra I actually have on. a song coming out with her very soon. Yeah, so yeah, I was in the studio and Kamaka Badan of Tuscara. And I keep telling him, bro, you need to stop, bro. <laughs> but uh, uh, he's one of the best producers he in is. this he industry. Is. He's a you know, very we have amazing. the Sedos. Yeah. Uh, we have all these guys coming up. But mm-hmm. yo, Yolopa. Legendary, any day. yes. Legendary, all yes. the way. So Mambo Bado, as Ibondak has told us. So what. Um, 
can you tell 18 year old or 16 year old because you know these days eh? mm-hmm. 16 year old when we call a janja or mm-hmm. like you too mm-hmm. uh chick out there or even dude who was struggling to find themselves because you're saying in this particular song the video is about you and uh, the, your different uh, personas yeah. yes so what could you what ad, what word of advice would you give them my word of advice to anybody out there that's not anybody 16 year old six okay fine that's yes. 18 16 six, 15 16 17 18 yes any any young in yes mm-hmm. persistence is key you okay. need to understand nothing is made overnight i know the world you guys live in right now is all about the the show off yes right you the see, instagram lifestyle yes, the instagram but let me tell you that stuff be fake yes. okay and those that actually have what they're showing that have actually worked for it it has taken time nothing happens overnight it is persistence it is focus that is what will get you to where you are and positivity so keep your eyes on the game never quit when you fall down keep getting up because you'll eventually get there yes so what next what next for me? For you, yes. Oh, I have a new. I have, come back. We know about the clothing I, line. I have yes. a new track that's about to drop soon enough. Is it the I'm one shooting. With Petra? No, no, no. Okay, okay. I'm shooting the video next week. Okay. And I do plan to release from as of Mambo Bado another five tracks. Okay. And videos before the end of the year because it's go time. Pull up, pull up, pull up. Do you know that uh, you have less than ninety six days of to course, the end of the year? Of course, of course. So you are sure you're gonna I'm make it? I'm sure. Five songs between, in ninety six days. Between four to six songs in ninety six days. Have yes. it. You know what? Yes. Team Adele, Team Shafi, Meskia. But I told you she's fearless, man. <laughs> anyway, thank you very much for coming through. Thank you so for having me. So before you go, man, yes, I have to put you on the spot. Uh, uh, so you go. better be ready and you better answer all my questions. Let's go. But remember, it's just a quick fire. Yes. It's just for fans. Shots. Shots fired. <laughs> Breakfast with the stars. Celebrity quick fire. So what text message did you first receive or respond to this morning? Oh, I haven't gotten one yet, or I haven't looked because my my focus was getting here. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> Single or taken? <laughs> taken. Okay, who would you date, Murray or just Smash? Between King Kaka, sorry, between Gabu, Frasha, and Bonai. <laughs> who would you date, Murray or just Smash? And remember, all this is just. I I have to answer. Yeah, you have to. I would marry Bonai. Uh-huh. I would. I would uh, smash Frasha. I would. Hey, I, I don't know. I would get and smash both Frasha and Gabu. Okay, <laughs> there you go. So if you had to save one person, mm-hmm. yes, and uh, there are three people stuck in an island, meaning two will have to die. Who would you save between Kush Tracy, Sasun, and Femi One? Femi One. So you. I'd save Will you me. save her? Yes. Or what are you saying? I would save Femi One. I would, you know, you are Kufi. No, no, no. I'll try and save them both. You can't save. You can only Femi save Femi One, one is the youngest. I don't know. Me, I'm asking you. And I'm just saying it's because she's the youngest. Don't take it offense so to I'll me. I love, so I'll 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 show show. No, I love you so soon. I love you so soon and Kush Tracy, but I would have to save Femi One. It's your favorite star.